So, hello, my name is Sebastian Stinzing. I'm the head of the Department of Hematology, Oncology and Tumor Immunology of the Charité in Berlin. And at this ASCO, I am presenting the first data of the FIRE 4.5 study, which was conducted to compare 4 fox series Ataximab to 4 fox series Bevacizumab in BRF mutant uh, metastatic colorectal cancer, not treated for metastatic disease before. So basically first line data on um, BRF mutant cases. Until now, there's only retrospective uh, data available about how to treat uh, BRF V600E mutant metastatic colorectal cancer. So this is the first prospective randomized data we have on this special uh, patient population. And as we all know, it is quite an um, a poor prognostic group. Um, we treated we, a total of 108 patients within this trial. It was a two-to-one randomization um, towards cetuximab or bevacizumab. The primary endpoint, as it was a phase two study, was overall objective response rate according to RESIS 1.1 criteria. The uh, Treatment was well tolerated. There were no new or unexpected toxicities um, <clears throat> for the primary endpoint, which we did not meet. Um, it was basically 49% uh, overall response rate for the cetuximab treated patients and 60% for the bevacizumab treated patients without any statistical difference between both treatment arms. When it comes to the progression-free survival, <clears throat> there was an advance by the use of bevacizumab over cetuximab. A total of 10.1 <clears throat> months were reached within the Folfoxiri bevacizumab arm, whereas 6.3 months in median PFS were, was reached with the Folfoxitaxumab arm. Here, there was a statistical difference with a p-value of 0.01 in favor of the bevacizumab-treated patients. What was the patient group that benefited the most from the concept of bevacizumab? This were elderly patients, so patients older than 65 years of age. Thus, this were patients, male patients that benefited, and patients with the right-sided tumor, so a tumor from the cecum, colon ascendance, or uh, transverse colon. These were the subgroups that benefit the most. When it comes to overall survival, we have to admit that the last patients had been um, included into this trial by December last year. So it's quite unmature data for the median overall survival so far. Only around about one third of overall survival events have already happened. And here, there was no statistical difference in between both treatment arms, reaching 15.2 months in the cetuximab arm and 17.1 months in median in the bevacizumab. As I said before, quite unmature data. We need more follow-up time to really um, uh, discuss the overall survival data. So to sum it up, basically we have to admit that uh, the primary endpoint overall response rate was not met. Overall, forfoxiri plus bevacizumab seems to be more preferable than forfoxiri cetuximab in first-line treatment of BRAF V600E mutant metastatic colorectal cancer. And I think we are all awaiting the data of the currently uh, ongoing breakwater trial, which is testing in first line the combination of a doublet chemotherapy, such as for Fox or for Fury, in combination with cetuximab and and the BRAF inhibitor and um, to really judge what the best options for this prognostic, poor prognostic group of patients is in first line.